When you're wearing a Minecraft head, it looks so weird on the body. Look how much bigger it is. Big head. It's not just this guy. It's all of them. Hello everyone, my name is Ethan and welcome back to some more Minecraft- Oh, there we go. Minecraft Prison. Today we're on Lone Wolves like always and we're starting off at a member of my blue team gang's plot. Uh, it's uh, Brooke Sparkly Glass, who has got a gift here for me, which we're going to look at. Ba-bing! Gift. Plaza. All Ethan's gifts. So there's the, uh, there's a name. Brooke Sparkly Glass. Glass? It's probably meant to be Glass. Hey, XX Featured, who uh, I'm going to sign Featured's plot in a second. But let's look at all the, let's look at all the stuff. So let's go... Lapis, which is some blue stuff. Diamondes. More Diamondes. Uh, what are those things called? Emeralds. Some orange and blue wool. Some more emeralds. Some more Lapis. Sweet. Some XP bottles. Some more wool. Oh, it's a rainbow. That's so cute. Oh, I really like that. I like that so much. And then in rare stuff, we got ourselves some spruce saplings, which I have none of. Uh, spruce leaves, some cacti, and some seeds, which actually seeds are a good idea. That's a- I could put some more, uh, wheat on the- well, I don't have any wheat on my plot. I could put some wheat onto my plot, which would be really, really good, actually. So, we need to get started on bringing all of this stuff home. So, let's start off by selling these things. So, pH to Boo, like so. By the way, guys, today I am It's Shadows underscore. And I'm going to put my blue team armor on to save myself a little bit of room here. Oh, I got a UVIP sword from Featured. Thanks, buddy. So uh, I'll go back and sign Featured's plot in a minute. I'm just trying to sell my thangs here. Just trying to sell my thangs. There isn't enough space in any of these chests. Aha! Sold it. Sweet. PH Brook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab all of this stuff and uh, sell it slash store it. I won't make you guys watch. And then when we come back, we'll uh, we'll look at our pickaxe giveaway, some plot signings, and uh, obviously we'll have to do our inventory of mining because you guys love it when I mine. Taboo. So, alrighty guys, welcome back. So uh, it turns out that last clip uh, when I was saying goodbye, my audio got cut out, but it's okay because you guys didn't miss anything. I was just saying goodbye. It's fine. Uh, here we are at XX Featured Place. Uh, I gotta figure out where he wants me to sign his plot. Let's. Oh! It's <laughs> this is a pretend house! Um. Okay. Where do I sign? Hello? Is there anybody home inside this pretend house? <laughs> um. Don't know if you like XX Featured's house. Well, it's kind of a trap, isn't it? It's not a real house. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's just the walls of a house. It's not actually a real house. But alright, I'm going to pop down a uh, right here next to the door. Dashy McDashington. Ethan R. Uh, featured. And one. Get that blue team for him. Whoa! Blue team. Dash, dee, dish, dash, douche, dash. Dash T. There we go. Hey. Hello. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Ethan R. CGI. Let's head on over and uh, let's check out the pickaxes for today's episode. What do we got? UVIP and an uber pickaxe. So this episode we're going to give away a legend pickaxe because I found it in a chest. So legend pickaxe for anyone who likes and comments with their in-game name. I would like to aim for over 100 likes but it really doesn't bother me anymore because... They're just likes. Who cares? Who cares? Pickaxes to be given away. Although, this chest here is looking really sad. Like, it's only got, like, SVIPs and stuff in it. A couple of better picks. I know I've got a lot of pickaxes, like, laying around. I've just got to find them all. Like, uh, they're normal stuff. Actually, I think all my newer things are, like, over in these areas where I've got, like, my blue armor and stuff like that. I don't really know. There are things around and I don't know what they are or where they are. There might be stuff in my... Is it slash vault? Have I got anything in... I know. Oh, we got one, but that's my arm. That's my silk touch. Phew. Okay, maybe there aren't as many missing pickaxes as I thought. 
That's good. That means I've given away good ones and not junk ones. Awesome. But uh, anyway, if you guys want to win that Legend Pickaxe, just hit the like button, comment with your in-game name, and if you want to, comment something relative to the series. You've got a better chance of winning if you do, but, you know, you might win if you don't. Um, probably not, because other people who put in more effort usually win. But uh, let's go over to the Warp Axe. Our balance is currently 5.7 bill. Uh, featured would like me to write Ethan R. Panda, so he's going to have to wait, and I'll do that in a minute. But, because uh, I want to tell you guys about my new job that I've been doing the last couple of days. I, uh, I'm doing my trial week. I'm actually working at a pizza place in town, which is so much fun. I really like it. It was really cool that because I'm... Oh, another 50k, another 5k. That gives me 65,000. Awesome. It was really cool that because I make a little bit of money off YouTube and things like that, that I'm able to pick up, rather than pick up a high-paying job that requires heaps of hours every week, sort of thing like that, uh, I've been able to pick up just a job every night, it's every night at the moment, and I'm making pizzas, I'm delivering pizzas, I'm taking orders, that's sort of what I'm doing. But uh, it's only for three hours a night, it's uh, from 5.30 to 8.30, which is nothing. You know, it gives me the whole day to work on videos still. Uh, it doesn't interfere with YouTube at all. And it just adds an extra couple of hundred bucks. Well, actually, it adds an extra 1,600 bucks into my bank account every month. So, you know, like, what I've decided to do now is rather than living off the YouTube income that I get and, like, any income from promotional things I do in my videos or on my Twitter and stuff like that, all that extra money... Uh, from YouTube is now going to like buying new microphones, buying computer equipment, buying other games, uh, getting intros made, stuff like that, uh, just so that the YouTube can have, my YouTube channel can be better quality, uh, especially my audio, this Blue Yeti microphone that I'm using right now is broken, and I would like to fix it up, and then obviously I can also just live off the, uh, the pizza job, which is really cool, because it's so easy. You know what I mean? And like 1600 a month isn't a lot, but um, because I'm living with my parents at the moment uh, in my hometown, 1600 a month is enough for me to buy a car in a couple of months uh, and then save up so that Megan Kaleido can move so we can have better internet because then I'll be able to live stream. And once I have better internet, I'll probably put up three videos a day, I think. It depends on if I end up working down there because right now it's sort of like, uh, to be totally honest with you guys, I don't like the way YouTube works anymore. I don't like how most YouTubers, uh, or most upcoming YouTubers, put up one or two videos a day, and they're all 10 minutes or under. I think that's lazy. Like, I know that they record for two hours, and then they spend two hours editing, but if you're not an absolute, if you're not a complete moron, you can record in a way that doesn't require heaps of editing. It just depends how lazy you are. Like, um, and I don't like the whole highlight reel thing that people do where it's like, I've recorded a 30 minute episode, I'm going to cut it down to 7 minutes of all the funny things I say and all the interesting things that happen, and everything else that I said was a complete waste of time, because I, that's what it is, it's a waste of time, because it gets edited out. I edit out really boring things, obviously, but I'd rather spend my time editing things like the lighting or changes in the lighting or if like in the new series that I'm bringing up Sword Quest I'll be editing in like um like pan overs and stuff like that things to enhance the video not cut out 90% of it I don't I get that that works and I get that that's what the viewers like viewers don't like to sit there for 30 minutes and watch videos anymore but I don't like doing that so that means I get longer videos and it means I get bigger video files so I would very much like to have better internet so I can sit down and record 30 minute videos, 20 to 30 minute videos of me playing whatever I want with whoever I want and not having to worry about making like, not having to worry about like, oh, I gained 5,000 subs this month and 4.4 million views, which gives me $3,000 and that's what I have to live off for the next month. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because that makes me unhappy. Living off YouTube makes you unhappy. It also makes you a very toxic person as well, because 
when your life depends on it, you know, when your well-being depends on it, you turn into a dog. You start to dog people, you start to go behind people's backs so that you can grow and they can't, you eliminate the competition, you know? Like, there are some terrible people out there that do those things because they don't want to do anything but be a famous YouTuber with heaps of attention and, you know what I mean? By, like, don't know. I tried doing YouTube full-time, it was fun, but... I'm having a lot more fun making these videos for you guys now that I don't have to worry about money because I get to work with pizza. You know what the best part about my night is? When I jump in the, like, the car that we drive is, it's terrible. Like, the steering wheel's falling apart, the windows don't work, it's one of those old push the buttons to start. Like, I know new cars have buttons that you push to start, but this is one of the old ones where you have to push it like six or seven times just to jump start the engine. Like... I can't get it out of second gear. It doesn't go anything higher than second gear or it stalls. Which means I just get to like rev it. I get to rev it. I get to absolutely destroy this car around town. And it smells like pizza. <laughs> it's fun, man. It's so much fun. So, uh, and I think I'm happier. I'm happier making videos now knowing that it doesn't matter if you guys... It doesn't matter if... What's the best way to put it? I can make these prison videos fun for my viewers, and I don't have to care about bringing in new viewers. I don't have to make hoary videos to try and get new subs all the time so I can make money. I can just make the stuff that I want to do that you guys enjoy, which is so much fun. And I can start doing stuff that I want to do as well, which is making me a happy chappy. But anyway, I've talked enough. I've probably said things that I shouldn't have because there are some things in YouTube that we all keep secret and we don't tell we don't tell the viewers, you know, there's like those unspoken rules where you don't talk about how how people really are, sort of thing like that. But whatever, doesn't matter. Let's uh, let's go give away these pickaxes. We made a little bit of money while we were here. Uh, yeah, we made like 100 mil because I was doing slash sell. But I just wanted to tell you guys about how my new job has made YouTube more fun. It's weird. <laughs> it's really weird because you would think that getting to sit around all day playing video games would make YouTube more fun. But it doesn't. It does not at all. But yeah, let's find out who won our pickaxes. I'm going to quickly grab two winners out of the comment section, give them their picks, and then we will finish up maybe with a couple more plot signs. Alrighty, guys. So, we got our first winner, I hope. If I'm added to his plot, he could be new. So, oh no, I'm added. Cool. You can have your dirt back. Sweet. What's this? Blue team. Oh, he's even got a little thing for... What? I don't know if I can take this. Oh, this is his weekly stuff. Look, I'm just going to give you a different chest here and put this down because I'm not sure if that's a gift or not. I don't I don't know what you're doing there, dude. But uh, this is Primate Games, who is also a YouTuber. He uploaded his first OP Prison video recently. So, you know, check him out. I don't know. I didn't watch the video. I just saw it when I saw his name. So, if you want to look, go look. It's up to you. Alrighty guys, and our second winner is underscore AV, who uh, actually commented about doing longer mining sessions with like music over the top, which could be really interesting. I probably should have done that today instead of rambling about my new job, but uh, I sort of wanted to make it clear that my new job makes YouTube more fun. So I really wanted you guys to know that because you know, like prison's my biggest following. I care about you guys the most. Uh, so, really need to let you guys know. I also had another comment there that said, Hey Ethan, I couldn't find the explosive pickaxe in the Bycraft. So, from my understanding with the explosive pickaxe, it's only sold on holidays or special occasions. So, if you're looking for the pickaxe and you can't find it, it's probably not a holiday. Which it isn't at the moment, so I think we're good. There could be a... Is there a summer sale? I don't know. If there's a summer sale, or maybe an end of summer sale later on because of the Americans, it could very well be in there then. I don't know, though. I haven't, uh, I haven't officially asked Nico if it's there, or, like, what the deal with the explosive pickaxe is. But that's what my understanding of it is. I'm sure people will comment down below uh, what the actual, like, to confirm that, or what the real reason you can't get it is, and when you'll be able to get it next. Because I know that the community knows. So, uh... If you are, if you're one of the people who had a question about the explosive pickaxe, just check out the comments on this video, and you should be able to find something. Because they're, they're helpful, to helpful people who watch my videos. They know things, and they will comment. They're awesome. That's the that's the thing I love. But anyway, I am doing another quick inventory here, and then we'll finish up for the day. What? Oh, what I actually needed to do was I wanted you guys to help me with something here. 
Uh, well, da, 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 do that. P H. I am thinking about doing some seeds, so getting like some wheat. I'm wondering if I should turn the entire plot into wheat. Could I do that, this entire bottom level, into wheat? That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? I think I'm going to try that. Hey, it's Minty Puff. Hi, Minty Puff. I think, um, I think I'm going to try that. I think I'm going to do all wheat along here, which means I'll have to hide some, uh, some water in some of these areas. Maybe put a water block, like, here or something. I think that could be cool, though, right? Do you guys like that idea? I like that idea. I think I'm going to need a lot of seeds. But, uh, let's get started on that. Let's, um, let's get started on that. I forgot that I was It's Shadows today. But I did mention it, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> I am going back to wearing people's heads on camera, guys. So if you want me to wear your head, don't forget to just chuck it down here. In under the plot there. Oh, into those chests down there. I go through them every day. Uh, and I keep the other heads usually. Oh, what's that? That's a different... That's... How do you... Why do I not have a hoe? Okay, how do you make a hoe? Um, do I have any stuff? Diamond block... Any sticks? Nah, this... Tell you what. Hey, get out of my way. Get out of my way, damn it. Eat the... Eat the RCG. I'm sure I've got one over here somewhere. Surely. Hello? Diamond hoe. Starter hoe. Look at that. Let's see if we got any seeds around here, too. Seed? One. <laughs> no. Nope. I think I have PvP in one of these chests. Yeah, some PvP stuff there. Which I haven't done yet. I did promise you guys PvP, but I forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot about it today. Maybe next episode. I know that you guys wanted it. Uh, I got some comments saying that you would like to see PvP. So, um, I'm not good at PvP, just so you know. Like, um, that's why I sort of steered away from doing factions, because I don't really enjoy PvP. Partly because I'm terrible at it. So, yeah. Let's go over here. Get this one. Because people visit my plot and they AFK, like, standing around. So, hopefully, someone will come and stand at my plot long enough... For all of these things to grow. And we'll be able to see what it looks like soon enough. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 14 to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't think these will stay fertilized anymore. I think I'm going to need some water here. Do that. I know it won't be hard to hide the water. Kind of, I don't think. But at the same time, it's going to... Oops, I need that. Oh, I didn't pick it up either. <laughs> it's not hard to hide water. But it is a bit... Why do you stand in the way of my chests? Damn it, red guy. Deadpool. You keep doing that, man. Why you do this? Why you do this to me? All right, let's put that there. Let's get some water. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I guess I can hide water blocks under here and they'll still work. That's a good idea, actually. Whoop! Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, get some water from there. So if I do this... Put the water there, and then do that. Will it still work? I think it does. Yep! Cool! Cool, cool, cool! That's awesome! So I'm gonna fill this whole bottom row here with wheat, and we'll see what it looks like next episode. So anyway, guys, like always, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about, like, uh, if the new job affects my video schedule, which it doesn't, or anything like that, uh, do let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!